Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here, photographer in Manhattan since 1973. This is my 50th year in the photography business. Please subscribe to my channel. It keeps me going. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Uh, comment below and send me an email. I'll answer any photography based question. Black and white photo at AOL.com. What? are you looking at <laughs> guys i discovered this nikon coolpix s610 it currently sells for 45 dollars used on the internet all right what brought me to pick up this 45 dollar used pocket camera now there are a lot cheaper pocket cameras right a lot less than 45 dollars but let me just give you a little bit of uh, photography background on this camera first of all it's a nikon it has a nikkor lens the lens is equivalent to a 28 millimeter nice wide angle to 112 millimeter, great for portraits, but it's a CCD film-like sensor. This little beauty has a gorgeous film-like sensor. And as you know, 2023 is the international year of the CCD sensor. It's a rejuvenation of enlightening people of older cameras like this 2008 camera that there was a time before CMOS sensors that CCD sensors were based on film. All right, keep that in mind. Now, why, what attribute does this camera have over a lot of other point and shoot cameras? Okay, well, when Nikon engineers were working on this camera, they worked on a special feature that I have not seen in a pocket camera. It acts more like a Nikon D850 in this aspect. All right. Macro photography. <clears throat> Look at this photograph. As you can see, that photograph was taken of this little shell, okay? This is no bigger than an inch and a half, two inches. I put it on a piece of black acrylic and the light source was this 99 cent flashlight. Now, I was able to hand hold this camera because it has vibration reduction built in. The macro setting is so sharp and you get so close that it's just incredible. This is now, this Nikon Coolpix S610 is now my go-to pocket camera for when I go out into nature and try and photograph little bugs out in the wild all right so i just want to run down a few things that i like about this camera um the iso setting nice and low the base iso is 100 to 3200 for a 2008 uh pocket camera that's very good max shutter speed one over 1500 it takes one sd card like i mentioned it has vibration reduction it has a built-in flash, if you can even see it right there up on the top, right above the lens, okay? Uh, I will put in the description all the specifications on this camera if I miss something. Now, here's something really cool. Say you're out in the field and you're photographing all day and you only brought one SD card with you and it gets full. Fear not, Nikon has the consumer in mind. Built in to the camera, into the circuit board, 
they have built in 45 megabytes of internal storage. That's just enough for you to get that last picture or two that you must get. Okay. Uh, there is the upgraded model called the Nikon S610C. The difference with that one and this one is that the S610C has Wi-Fi. Okay, so you can upload your pictures from the camera to your cell phone and out to the internet. Okay, uh, now let's just uh, briefly take a look at the photographs. I showed, I showed you the macro photograph. I'll show you that again. Now I want to show you this photograph. This is an outdoor macro photograph. That tree bark was only 1.8 inches away from the lens. Incredible. Now I want to show you this landscape photograph that this camera took. Unreal. Now, the post-processing software that I used has AI. It's called Luminar. Okay, that's my professional. I bought it. They're not sponsors. I bought it. You only buy it once. It's not like Photoshop where you have to pay for it every month. Luminar. Okay. Here's the second landscape photograph at the beach. And finally, the fourth uh, photograph in the series of color photographs. So this has been a presentation of the 2008 Nikon S610. Please subscribe. Carmine from New York here saying goodbye. And as we fade out, let's take a look at the photographs once more. Have a great day.